A pleasant welcome to the Department of Probation and Parole Services. I am Mrs. Yolanda Jules Louis, the Director of the Department, stationed in the Castries office. Meet our other staff. Hello, my name is Mistress Kirian Kalix. I'm the Assistant Director of the Probation Department based in the Viewford office. Hello, I'm Alina Ogis, a Probation Officer stationed in the Castries office. Hi, Jermin R. Alexander, Probation Officer, Castries office. Hello, Zanta Williams, Probation Officer, Castries office. Hello, I'm Mrs. Kafka Alexander, Probation Officer, Castries office. Hello, Mrs. Fiona Noel Shalway, Probation Officer, Viewford office. Hi, Trevor Constantine. I'm a probation officer attached to the Castries office. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Sembry, Office Assistant, Castries office. I am Indira Novel, Secretary of the Castries office. We are now going to look at the question, what is probation? Probation is a form of sentencing issued by the court to someone who has been found guilty of an offense or charge. It is an opportunity to learn and grow from the mistakes that you have made. It is also classified as a non-custodial sentence or more commonly called a community sentence. You will also be assigned to a probation officer. This is the person who will be responsible for your supervision while you are on probation. A probation officer is not a police officer and does not have the powers and duties of a police officer. You should come to your probation officer with any difficulties you are having in the home, community, school, at work. Your probation officer is there to assist and guide you in living a more positive life. Once you have been placed on probation, you'll be asked to sign a document called a probation order. This document will be explained to you in detail by your probation officer and in a language that you're comfortable with. It is a contract signed between yourself and the court and it will state the length of time you're placed on probation, the conditions of your probation and the penalty for breaching the probation order. In other words, if you fail to comply with the probation order, you'll be held accountable by the court. So what does it mean to be found in breach of your probation order? It is the duty of your probation officer to ensure that you obey the conditions of your probation order. These conditions may include taking certain classes, performing community service, or obeying a curfew. If you willingly fail to meet these conditions, then your probation officer may take you back before the court for not complying and you may be found in breach of your probation order. This may result in your sentence being varied to a fine or imprisonment. You can also be ordered to continue your probation sentence with different conditions. You will be given an opportunity to explain to the court your reason for not complying with the conditions of your probation order. An important part about being on probation is setting goals. Goals are what you want to achieve while you are here. Being on probation is not only about coming in and signing your yellow card and going home. It's about change and meeting your goals. You can have short-term and long-term goals, but remember that your goals should be realistic and specific to your situation. And also remember that having goals is not enough. You need actions to achieve your goals. Things that you should do while on probation Report to the probation office when you are asked to. Bring your probation card every time you come to the office. Attend all classes or sessions directed to you by your probation officer. Obey all conditions on your probation order. Be respectful to everyone when you come to the probation office. Be patient when you come to the office. Your probation officer may be busy when you come. Please wait patiently. Inform your probation officer promptly if you have changed your address 
or tell your probation officer of any overseas travel plans or opportunities. The office is considered an extension of the court. Dress decently when you come. When on probation, there are things that you should not do. Do not carry weapons, drugs, and other offensive materials to the office. Do not wear inappropriate clothing when coming to the office. This includes short outfits, spaghetti strap tops, tight clothing, vests, pants below the waist, and caps worn backwards. Do not use obscene language in the office. Address members of staff appropriately and respectfully. Do not miss your date to report to your probation officer without contacting him or her or calling the probation department. Do not commit another criminal offense while on probation. Avoid conflict with other persons. One of the first programs you'll be exposed to at the probation department is our orientation program. All new probationers are required to attend this 45-minute session to learn about being on probation. You'll be exposed to our parenting program, our outreach program, our psychosocial educational programs. Additionally, you can be part of programs external to this department, like those offered at the Turning Point Rehabilitation Center, the National Skills Development Center, NSDC, or those offered at the Center for Adolescence Renewal and Education, K, all as part of your probation. Reintegration into society. One of our main objectives is to ensure that you do not reoffend. We also assist with your smooth transition back into your family and community, thus ensuring improved relationships between you, family members, and your community. We help prepare you for gainful employment and help you work on changing the attitudes which can affect your behavior. We would like to encourage you to become a more productive and law-abiding citizen. We have come to the end of our orientation video and we want to thank you for your attention. We look forward to working closely with you to help you move from where you are right now to a better place in your life and community.